Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The sum and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart, a sign of black end. Again, asking you to hit that share button, especially this time. Especially this time, it is so important. Before you hit like or subscribe, I've always said hit the share, but this time, those of you that are listening, I need you to do me a favor and share this. And here's why. If you're hearing this, then you stopped and you listen. Thank you. But what happens with most of my viewers and subscribers is that as soon as I put up a video and the word Islam is in the title, they don't even uh, view it. Now, granted, they're allowed to make their own decisions. As a matter of fact, they're required to decide for themselves and not based on what just based on me and what I want. They're required to choose what they're going to do and not let me choose for them. I get that. But for me, just trying to inform them of the option of Islam, all of a sudden the views go down. But that's not the only thing. Because, see, even if I don't agree with them doing that, I can see what the logic is. It's a question of faith in, uh, in, to a certain extent. Not all of it, but some of it is a question of faith. Some of it remains a question of faith. I get that. But there's more. Yeah, there's more. As some of it remains a question of faith. Um. You can understand why they might say, well, I'm going to deal with stuff I can prove. And while you can prove that when you live the, 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 you can prove this, you can prove that if you become Muslim and you apply the rules that you do benefit from it, you can prove that that's true. You can't prove the afterlife until you get there. I understand that. However, there's another message I've said, and there's not the same excuse even. Because this is something that can be objectively seen right now, right here on this earth with a passport and a plane ticket. And the contacts that know the right areas. And that is that we are not the world's only niggas. We're not even the worst niggas in the world. Now, we're the only ones that get referred to as niggas. We're the only ones who call each other niggas. But we're not the world's only niggas. When I say nigga, I'm talking about dysfunctional. Niggas are everywhere. Dysfunctional people are all over. What happens, though, is that in the United States, we look at other ethnicities and we forget that their grandparents and parents had to be cherry picked to get a visa to go to the U.S. in the first place. That if they had been the trifling father muckers that were the majority in their countries, they wouldn't have got the visa. Because you got to be on some kind of ball to have the money to get a visa coming from these countries. We forgot about that. So we saw the Asians who do have their stuff together, and we thought all Asians had their stuff together. We saw the Latinos who somewhat have it together, and we forgot all about the fact that Mexicans have been having Mexican gangs for generations on both sides of the border. And we just said the Latinos have their stuff together, forgetting that they're different from each other. Some do, some don't. We saw the Arabs who got the visas to go to the United States. And we said, oh, the Arabs are so, they're so on point. They're so together. They're so united. No, them niggas aren't. An Algerian and an Iraqi are going to have problems with each other. They're just going to unite when your black butt walks in the room. That's all that is. They agree on one thing, and that is they don't hate you, but they don't want to marry you either. And they don't want their kids looking like you, let alone their grandkids. That they don't want. Even when they already have your blood in them and they know they've got it, they don't want to go bl back to blacker. With no hatred for you, they just, they understand. It's an understanding they have. They never had to have a discussion about this. It doesn't take a conspiracy. So even when they don't hate you, they're together about certain things regarding you, but they're not together. You just think they are. Did you know that... Uh, Arabs can never have a mosque that's mostly Arab. You may not have been aware of that. Now, in Dearborn, Michigan, they may not have a choice. But in other parts of the, uh, other parts of the world where they live with other people, they can't have a mosque that's mostly theirs. Why? Because every last one of them is a sheikh, a scholar of the religion. They all think that because they speak Arabic, I don't mean 100%, but many think that because they speak Arabic, no one else can tell them anything about the religion, and that's not true. I can tell them you can't smoke. Don't tell me that the scholar said it's just uh, hateful but not wrong. No, nigga, it's wrong because now you know that it causes cancer. It's suicidal and it, cause, it, it addicts you. Then it gives you cancer. We know this. Now that we know this, you're not allowed to kill yourself. It falls under the category of suicide. So no, you can't do it. 
The scholars a long time ago used to say that coffee was forbidden because caffeine would unnaturally wake you up, but then they realized it didn't affect the intellect, so therefore it was okay. This happened a, a long time ago, centuries ago. Arabs argue about everything. You want to see a fight? Ask two Arabs how to say the same word in Arabic and watch them argue over their own language. Ask them niggas what color the sky is, and they'll argue about that. Sit back. You didn't notice, did you? See, what I want you to understand is this, and it's taken me five minutes to get to this, and that is that we're not the world's only niggas. We're not the only trifling people. Get a passport. Now, when I told you Islam is a solution, and I mentioned this in many cases, um, it should have gotten the same number of views as other videos, but they all got less, and that's pretty, I mean, that was like, that's across the board. If I sit up here and I read the stats out to you now, you'd say, oh my God, we niggas hate solutions. But on the other hand, you can say, even though I don't agree with you, you could say at least, you could put forth the argument that this is a question of faith. To that I say though, do the research, study it for yourself, and don't come back to me and tell me if you decide to become Muslim. Don't say, don't even let me know about it, just go and share the information with other people. But, but dealing with this topic about us not being the only niggas, which also gets automatically fewer views for some odd reason, not us not being the worst people in the world, us not being the most dysfunctional. This is information we need to know. This is information that is very important. And this is information you can verify with a passport and a plane ticket. And if you contact them, know where to go. Maybe a little knowledge of another language or through a translator. You could verify this info and see it for yourself. And niggas still see these titles when my videos come out, be they subscribers or not. They see it, 17 views. 55 views when all the others are getting from 100 to 2400. What the hell, man? You don't want to know that you've been lied to all this time? You don't want to know that you've been given a false image, not only in the U.S., but also in the Caribbean? You don't want to know that even in Africa, when all of the non-Africans have the most wealth, it's because of white supremacy and not because you're just inferior? You don't want to know this? You, you, you're happy thinking that we're the worst people in the world and we're the most disunited instead of knowing that actually everybody was trained to unite against you? I mean, come on now. You don't want to know this. Okay, all right, well, listen, if you've listened to this, you're one of those that did listen, obviously, and you want to know. Please share this with others. Please copy this link here and, and link to this particular video to which you're now listening and send it to other people because I'm telling you from first hand experience, I've learned how to speak enough Arabic to get around and understand these things. And I've seen from first hand experience that in the Philippines, I, I didn't even be, go to the Philippines, but it was some, some Philippines and non-Filipinos that told me what happens there. Most people don't do it, but everybody knows that this exists as a phenomena and they got used to it. They're desensitized. They're not doing it, but they're desensitized. That's a level of dysfunction. You got married couples hustling tourists. Tourist pays for a little pussy. She's married. Not just a boyfriend, nigga, married. Takes it, goes back, splits that money, and her husband's got a job, but they ain't supplementing income with her pussy. That's real. That does happen. You have unwed pregnancies and children with no dads in the Philippines in Indonesia which is uh, uh, the most populous Muslim nation and somewhere in between conservative and liberal you got a bunch of women who are Muslim and they know they're not supposed to be with non-Muslim men no matter what the origin is they know they ain't supposed to be with non-Muslim men and they out there running behind these non-Muslim Chinese uh, Indonesians because they got money they're literally selling their religion for money. You think it was just you? You think we're the only ones that might have had that issue? No, they're doing it. Most of them ain't, but you see it. They, all of them see this happen. You just thought it was only you. You can go into Thailand and they got villages. Not every village is like this, but there are villages where they are just understand. If you have a beautiful daughter, you send her to the city. She sells that booty. She brings back the money, sends the money back to help take care of y'all because that's a way to make a living. 
In Venezuela, we say all the Latinos spend money with each other. They're all together. Well, for one, they're different nationalities. They don't all like each other. And number two, in Venezuela, it was understood. You got a beautiful daughter. She's going to go to the city, go to some of these tourist results, sell that booty, send the money back to the family. We're not going to say nothing about where she got it from. Everybody just don't say nothing. Don't ask. Fuck the shuck up. It's money. But you thought we were the only ones like that? And Venezuela is a largely black Spanish-speaking country, but they ain't all black that are doing this. Or we wouldn't know that they're all black. And they ain't black Americans. If you get... Let me close out by saying this. The only reason, if you're somebody with, uh, uh, if you're somebody with whom someone else who did listen originally shared this so that you would listen then you're one of those that would not have listened without someone sending it to you. I get it. You need to know this. The only reason that we black folk might be worse than other people is that we think we're worse than other people. There are people around the world who ain't been through what we've been through, neither in the severity nor in the longevity of the suffering, and they are worse off than we are. You're going to see that a passport and some plane tickets or talk to somebody else who has been with these somewhere with the passports and plane tickets and you're going to see that the dysfunction tends to follow poverty uh lack of opportunity lack of options and maybe even some laziness but pov but but dysfunction does not follow being black and being american and then many other people who ain't been through what we've been through are doing a hell of a lot worse and a lot more desensitized to the wrong of it now, in black America, there's no phenomena of married couples out there where she's selling the pussy and bringing it back to the man. There are pimps that are doing that. There are pimps that are doing that, but there's no phenomena of this among married couples because they know the ones who do it know that we would kick their ass if we found out about it. So stop thinking that you're the worst in the world. I hope that what I'm saying one day is no longer true, that you no longer think this. In the meantime, I hope that what I said is a benefit. Assalamu alaikum.